Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. I'm here with DeWin Tal, the uh, director of the engineering uh, broadcast services, correct? That's correct, yes. Now, now we're, we're high up. I, I see the big screen in the background, but tell me a little bit about this control room here. Well, this control room is uh, the primary control room for the entire stadium. It controls the uh, world's biggest center-hung screen. It also controls over 3,000 LCD screens around the facility. How big is that screen out there that hovers uh, above the, uh, the track or where the Cowboys play the field? Well, we call it the Diamond Vision screen. It's built by Mitsubishi. It hovers about 90 feet above the field most of the time, although it can go down as low as 25 and up to 115 feet. It's about 160 feet long by 71 feet high, and it is the biggest uh, LED board in the world. Now, I heard at one point with the NFL, they were worried about uh, the, the, when they did the kickoffs that the, the football actually hit the screen at one time? Very first, uh, very first pregame, uh, a kicker did hit the screen, but it was more of a stunt. It hasn't been hit since. You're going to take us on a little tour. We're going to be able to go up above and the catwalk kind of look down on this stadium. But, you know, for people watching this uh, video, you know, how, what was the cost to build this stadium? I'm just curious on that. This is a $1.2 billion stadium. An interesting fact is the board, which was around $40 million, cost more to build than the original Texas stadium cost to build. Something else that I, that I heard that uh, it is so big here actually that you can fit the Statue of Liberty inside of this building? The Statue of Liberty could stand upright and still have a little room above the torch. And from a length standpoint, you could lay the Empire State Building on its side and it would just about stretch from arch to arch. How long did it take to build this stadium from start to finish? Well, from you know the initial uh, napkin sketches to completion was about four years. Uh, four years. Well, DeWin's going to take me on a little tour. I'm scared of heights, and we're going to be up high. All right, DeWin, after I got done uh, with my cardio workout to get up this high, I mean, that was a lot of steps to get up here, but what an incredible view. Yeah, you really can't beat the view. When you look out at the screen, it's hard to believe that it's basically a nine-story building hanging out there in the middle of space. How much does that screen weigh? I mean, you had to have a lot of cranes to get that thing up. It's about uh, 1.2 million pounds hanging up there. You know, I think if I was going to watch a football game, I think I'd hang up here and watch it. I mean, you're looking down on everything. Well, with a screen that size, there's not a bad seat in the house. And I know that this roof's retractable. If it's open, maybe the Cowboys are playing a game, it starts to rain. How fast does it close up? It takes about eight minutes to close the roof. Also, the side doors in the end zone, which are the biggest glass doors of their kind ever built, take about eight minutes to open or close as well. Well, you know, my job, this is why I enjoy doing this. I, you know, next time I watch uh, TV and I see the Dallas Cowboys playing here, I'll say, you know what? I was up there with the lights and the air conditioning ducts, all because of my good buddy here, DeWin. Thanks. I really appreciate it. taking time out. I know you're a busy guy. You got a lot of TV screens to monitor. It's been a pleasure. Good talking to you.